out there. <laughs> double doubles. Yeah. First one, you know. Um, I was really trying to get those last two rebounds, you know. Um, <laughs> thought I was going to miss them, but, you know, got to post that uh, first double double here, and that was important to me, so I was happy about that. You also, I think you had four threes tonight. Two more than you had all the last season. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, how does it feel? I mean, do you feel like a different person? You know, um, I just feel more confident, more comfortable on the court. Um, having that year of uh, experience under my belt really makes me feel calm and poised on the court. Um, you know, now I'm a senior, I just feel confident in what I'm supposed to do, what my role is for the team. So um, when it comes to shooting the ball, that's something I'm supposed to do, you know. Um, so I, I just really focus on my, my work on the defensive end and trying to get to the glass as much as possible. And which is more exciting, getting a three or the flying dunk in somebody's face, which I think you have. <laughs> it'd, probably, it'd probably be the dunk. Um, I'm pretty used to hitting threes. I mean, I, I dunked on people too, but uh, I don't think I've had a dunk at Rupp other than the blue-white game. I don't think I all, all last year I went without a dunk, so um, I think that was my first year as a basketball player since I could dunk without dunking all season, so um, it was good to get that one down. What did, they, what did the teammates say to you after the dunk? <laughs> they were just laughing, you know. Um, those guys are they're funny, you know. They just want to mess around, play around, but, uh, you know, it's just a player at the end of the day. Um, I'm just happy we got the win. We got to get better. Um, that, was a, that was a good team, and they, they really helped us with the, with the way they pressed us, the way they double-teamed us. Um, forcing us to make good decisions in that in that type of pressure. So um, we really appreciated that game for that. What's it like to be look at the scoreboard and you're ahead by 100 points? You know, um, it's not something that happens often, obviously. But, uh, you know, we appreciate them coming down here and, and playing us and, you know, helping us get that experience. Um, like I said, they really they really helped us when it comes to, to putting pressure on the basketball. And, and we have to make a good decision coming out of that. So um, we did appreciate what they, what they did for us in that aspect. It was a, it was a great game for us. One of your best performance off the bench. How important is it that you get you know, um, on this team, you know, you got to just know your role. Um, I know that I'm expected to make open shots, um, be a finisher, be a good defender, um, rebound the ball, you know, to play like a big guard. So um, it's important to hit shots, but it's important to, it's, it's probably more important to, to play defense, you know, rebound the ball, uh, fight, battle, you know, understand things like that. Because uh, I think he more expects you to hit shots in that situation. So. Do you have a favorite dunk tonight? Was it yours? Oh, uh, it was Malik's. It was Malik's. It might be Bam's, actually. You know, Bam almost hit his head. He might have hit his head on the rim with that reverse. So, uh, I don't know. We could, we could go and we could go argue about that later, I guess. How much do you use these games to kind of try to improve and show you can be in that rotation when the season starts? You know, obviously, um, it's not really just about me. You know, we were really using the game. We knew they'd pressure us. We knew they'd uh, send double teams at us. And, and we had to make good decisions coming out of that. So we were really using this game as, uh, as an opportunity to get better in that aspect. Um, with the guards, they were using it as an opportunity to learn how to dribble out of that, you know, make the right pass. Um, and I think we did really well with that. I think the bigs made good decisions when they came up and helped us get out of the double teams. So um, we really used the game for that type of experience. Happy before you've been playing? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I feel confident on the court. Um, I'm happy with how we've been playing as a whole. You know, you really see us mesh. You really see us come together. Um, if anybody, if you're at our practices, you can tell that, that we, we gel really well and we really know each other's strengths and we, we play to that. So um, really, really tight-knit team this year, uh, just like last year. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy with the direction that this team's going. Since you've been around here for a while, you get it that probably Cal's going to now start stressing defense all yeah, you know, um, defense wins games. Everyone knows that. You know, um, you got to play hard on the defensive end because no matter what you do, you know, you, at this level, everyone can make a shot, everyone can finish at the basket. But it's about can you get that last stop? Can you stop the stop the other team for the last three minutes of the game to really like grind that game out and win it? So uh, you know, he's been stressing defense since the beginning, but we, we're working on that really hard every day. Were you surprised that you were the leading rebounder in the first half? Um, I don't know. It doesn't really, it's not, I wouldn't say I was surprised. I was really, I was aiming for that, you know. Um, when the ball goes up, I was really just trying to get as many attempts at going to rebound the ball as possible. Um, some of them, you get fortunate sometimes, they land in your hands. Sometimes you got to go get them. But um, by the end of it, I just knew, I knew I had like eight um, for a long time. So at the end of it, I was trying to fight Isaac and them for rebounds, and they kept getting them over me. But, um, you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get as many rebounds as possible. It was just attacking the glass. That's all it was about. In a game like tonight, you know, Coach talked pregame about, you know, a guy like Bam is always, he's going 100%, you know, rebound attempts. You mentioned oh, yeah. rebound attempts. Is there a goal of, you know, what you're supposed to do attempt-wise, you know, for effort-type statistics? You know, um, there's not like a number that he says like he wants you to get to, but it, it's supposed to be high. You know, you don't want to you don't want to go for defensive rebounds 30, 40 percent of the time. You know, you want to you want to have a high high attempt level. Um, you're not going to get a rebound if you don't attempt to get it right, especially as a guard. 
Um, some guards, you know, they kind of lack in that area. They try to run out and stuff like that. But um, I find our guards, we really focus on, on attempts offensively and defensively. And um, knowing that he is really focused on that, that they watch the tape and, and they're looking for that, um, you know, that's something you got to have, have in your mind, the back of your mind the whole game. So the obvious thing is if you become a great rebounder, it's a great way for you to get more playing time. Great rebounder, great defender. Um, you know, consistent knocking down shots. You know, you just got to know what, what's expected of you, what your role is for the team and how you can help the team win. Um, when you're doing that, it's, it's kind of hard not to play. Michael, you seem so much more confident. And how good do you feel right now? I feel good. I feel confident. I have uh, a year of experience under, uh, under Coach Cal's system, and I feel like that's really helped me. Also, um, having these guys, you know, you play around the best players in the country every day. Um, so when you step out on the court with an opponent, um, it's not necessarily the same, you know. Um, it's hard to get someone to pressure you the way Isaiah or Malik will, or, you know, De'Aaron, any of these guys, Dom. It's hard to find somebody who's going to push you that hard every day when you walk onto the court against an opponent. So um, having these guys around it really helps. It makes, you, it makes you confident in the whole, and that's what it is. I know with the shoot around today, there's a lot of conversation about the chemistry on this team. How would you describe it? I mean, it's great. We spend, we spend all our time together. Um, we were here, I think the whole team was here all summer, and I think that's rare. I've only been here a year, but I've heard that that doesn't happen often, and uh, we got to do that. I feel like we all we just get along so well um, on and off the court, and then when it when it comes to the basketball court, we really push each other to make each other better every day. Um, practice is a battle. Uh, we really go to go to kill each other every day, and we walk off the court laughing about it, and you know just you know talking to each other about who won that day, and you know if someone wins one day, you say yeah, I'll get you the next day. It's no worries, but uh, you know I feel like we just gel really well, and uh, it shows on the court. It really does. Michael, what advice would you give to a guy like Ty who maybe doesn't know? What You know, um, Ty, Ty's a great player. Um, we have a lot of great bigs, and Ty's one of them. He, what I would tell him, and I don't need to tell him this, he, he already knows, is just keep fighting. Um, the kid fights hard, man. He's an ox down there. Um, he really uses his body to his advantage, uses his strength to his advantage. Um, real fighter, you know, he's got grit. So um, go after that basketball, go grab rebounds. When you get the ball in the post, try to score on your opponent. You know, um, I don't really need to give him advice. I think he knows what he what he needs to do, and uh, he's really embracing his role and, and trying to step into something right now. How much intensity was there at the end of that game to keep it at 100? It looked like maybe you were a little frustrated when he gave up a couple of late baskets. Oh, no, I, you know, I just, don't like, uh, I just don't like getting scored on whether we're up two or whether we're up 100. But, like, um, you know, I wasn't worried about winning by 100. Definitely not. Um, we were just worried about you want to get stops every time down the court. And uh, at the end of the game, sometimes that slips, especially when you're up like that. You start uh, letting things go that you normally wouldn't. So uh, I don't know if I was so frustrated. I just don't like uh, I just don't like getting scored on. When did you know you were going to dunk that one at the end? Did you know coming down the court, or was that kind of a split second? Uh, coming down the court, I think. Um, I think I expected him to like come through and strip me, or, or like try to strip me. Um, so I was kind of preparing for that, but he I saw him stutter, so I don't know, went for it. Like, what was it, like 29 total dunks in the game? Uh, who's the best dunker on the team, and which one stood out to you tonight? Um, I don't know who the best dunker on the team is. Uh, I saw in the, in the layup lines, uh, someone did a windmill, and so the next four, five, six people did a windmill. So, you know, I don't know who the best dunker on the team is. Um, a lot of high jumping uh, athletic guys. And uh, I don't know which, which dunk stood out to me. I really like Malik's dunk when the guy when the guy fell. I really like Bam's dunk when he uh, went reverse. Um, There's a lot. There was a lot of dunks. I noticed it's hard to it's hard to really pick one out, but um, they're they're fun to watch. Can you talk about a game though like that, twenty nine dunks. I know it got out of hand, but how fun <laughs> is it to play like that up and down? Yeah, it, it's really fun. You know, um, it's it was a good experience for us to to have that kind of um, that kind of team play us, just keep us running up and down, up and down. It was a great conditioning game. Um, but when it comes to dunks, you know, uh, that's just something that happens with running. Uh, you saw Isaiah got a dunk, you know, that's not something that he, he always tries to do. So um, it was good to see that from him. That was exciting. And, uh, you know, we'll just continue to push forward. Who just got the loudest response, though? Who did? It seemed like your teammates, at least, were most excited about that one. Yeah, um, you know, we, we really support each other. Um, I could tell, like, I was looking over there and I could tell, like, they wanted me to punch on him, like, the whole time. but. Um, like you could tell, you could see them stand up um, a little early for that one. So um, it wasn't really about that. I just feel like we just have such a supportive group um, all around. Everything that somebody does, I feel like uh, we're all there to support them, whether it's good or bad, uh, onto the next play. So that's just pretty much how the team is. How much yeah. progress has Ty made since he first arrived here last season? Ty's made um, amazing strides. You know, you watch his game and it's grown a ton. 
Uh, he was a great player. I didn't get to watch him much when he lived in New Zealand, obviously, but um, coming over, he was really skilled with the basketball, really skilled in the post, and uh, just to see his, his body develop, you know, he came, he came in strong, and uh, just to see him continue to improve in that area, continue to improve his footwork on the post, uh, post moves, offense and defensive rebounding, and, you know, just uh, will to win and fighting. Um, you know, he's taking major strides, and I'm, I'm excited for him to, to see him keep stepping forward. What are those battles in practice between those big guys like? They're brutal, man. Uh, you really see these guys, like when Isaac and Bam are colliding for a rebound or something like that, it's like, man, like, what am I watching? You know what I mean? Like, um, but it's, it's great. It's, it's high level competitive, competitive spirit. Um, these guys, they, they just go out to battle every day. And uh, to see that from bigs, um, you don't see them hands on their knees, tired or nothing like that. They just want to keep fighting, keep fighting. Um, it's time to be tired later, you know what I mean? Um, we'll be real tired in a few months, but as of right now, we just want to keep pushing forward, keep fighting. Cal talked again tonight about you and Dom fighting for that position in the, in the rotation. you feel like you maybe done enough now that you caught his eye and, and he'll give you some more minutes? You know, I feel like Cal's confident in all of us. Um, I know he's confident in me. He wants me to do well. Um, he wants all his players to do well. So, you know, me and Dom, we, we really battle every day, um, trying to fight our way in. And, you know, it's, it's great for us to be around such great players every day and get to, get to play against these guys day in and day out. So um, just, trying to, just trying to find our role and, and you know, find our stride. Um, it's been a really great experience, and we're still continuing to do that. Michael, usually the, the mark of uh, you've had a great offensive day is when you score 100 points. But what is it like to look up and be ahead by 102 yeah, I saw that. Um, you know, that's that's not something I've ever seen, I don't think. Um, not since I was probably really young, maybe that happened. But, you know, um, they were a good team. They really helped us with uh, a lot of aspects of our game. We really learned what to do when it comes to double teaming and, and making good passes out of that. Um, so they really helped us. You know, uh, the score wasn't really something I was worried about. I barely looked at it, honestly. But, um, you know, they're a good team, and they really helped us get better. So we appreciated that. Obviously, you got a factor in competition, but just what we saw from De'Aaron tonight where he's just in fast forward and getting what he wants, getting to the basket. Is that sort of the best of what he can be for you guys? He's, uh, he's absolutely learning to, to really utilize that speed. Um, you guys see that a lot more now than you probably did a couple months ago even out of him. Um, you know, he's one of those guys that can really go fast when he wants to. So uh, you just got to keep him wanting to, I guess. But, uh, you know, when you see that, uh, he can go down the court in a couple seconds and, and finish a tough shot. So um, it's really exciting to see him, him push the ball like that and be able to finish in traffic. And I feel like that's really his strength, and he's great at it.